out to have fun. Yes. yes. It was awesome. Yes, it was. I agree. Yeah, with our famous vlogging and Give it out. This my this my Sorry, this my house. What is it? A light what is it It's called Sherbrooke Light, and it's a very important light. Uh, it used to be a Martello Tower. This light was started in the 1780s as a Martello Tower. Okay. It, it was like a, a round fortification tower. Okay. And Abraham Gesner, the uh, physicist, he, he or geologist, he tried kerosene. He's the inventor of kerosene. Okay. And he would try it on, on the light. And okay. This light uh, used to be a whole village out there. Oh, really? It used to be houses and lighthouse keepers and villages until the government automated the lighthouse and then the lighthouse keepers. It's very shallow, and they have to have a pilot boat to take them in. Like I watched last Sunday, a big ship was coming in, and there were four pilot boats that came out and took them in. Because it's very, there's a shoal. If you look on your map, you will see a big shoal, a sandy shoal that goes out there. Okay, all right. Thank you. You're very welcome. Just wondering. We're running to you, running, running, running. Hello there. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharifa. So today we are going out on a tour with a group called the J1LI, Generation 1 Leadership Initiative. It's a group tour. We are going to Maknava Island. So I'll take you through our journey. Hope you enjoy it. Because of the extended stay, lockdown and everything. 
Here we are, McNabb's Island. Oops, we are here. We are here. We are here. So we are here at the Maknab Island. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. <laughs> yeah, that's me. We have a rule inside our organization, which is that <laughs> no one's allowed. <laughs> yeah, just me. <laughs> Even when clients are reasonable, <laughs> even when clients are not fair, even when clients are not fair, even when clients are not fair. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Here by the big side in Maknab Island. I'm having some fun, some summer fun. It's so beautiful out here. It's an island with various um, attractions. So we're going on Ike now. They're not going with them, feeling really very lazy. It's about 30 minutes Ike inside somewhere there. I'm so tired. So I'm just gonna stay here by the beach side. Ah. Step on this one. This one is a serious they step on it to do whatever they need to do. They have to move it around as well. So she's looking for a 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 She's
right. Some of them are more like individual though. Like trees long followers. followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're, they're in danger, right? Yeah, they're at risk. So, uh, yeah, the population's been going down quite a bit. Like, there's still a lot of them around, but compared to what there used to be, yeah. there's not. Mm -hmm. there's not so it's mm -hmm. The music is videoing. It's on pause. It's on pause. Is it possible to pull this one? No, don't pull it off. Don't go near. Don't kill me. 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 Don't kill Mm. Look at the steel. I know. The steel beams are coming. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Yes. And your name is? Nico. 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 So these are our three summer staff. Nico, Nico. Chris, and As I said on the boat, we're lucky this summer because uh, the government allowed us to have yeah, three students. Guys. We always used to apply for two students, but we were in competition with other organizations. Yeah. But now that COVID hit, other organizations are not employing so many folks. So last year we had three students on our staff, and this year we have three as well. So we're very lucky. They all have very... What happened? Take it, Kirsten and Daisha. We all have first aid kits. I keep mine up here in case something happens to me. You know where to go. Um, we're all CPR trained. Okay. Um, if something were to happen, we all have cell phone service, so we can, if it's an emergency, we'll call for uh, the big guns. Um, we will be here until 3:30. So for some reason, you wander off from meeting. Over there at 3.30, that's where we're getting picked up, okay? So you have to be there for 3.30. But, like, we'll make them wait if you aren't. Um, <laughs> you guys have, like, full horns. Like, ah! I'm so sorry. A whistle. I have a whistle. Um, you have a whistle. Um, you know how to do this one, no. I know you know how to do it. <laughs> So beautiful. And then, Kristen, yeah. yeah. in history, yeah. my understanding is a lot of the youth here today are really interested in STEM. Yeah. So, um, it's in my foot. Wow. <laughs> so, I see it. Yeah. That's what you don't want to take home. Oh, yeah. So, don't take that home. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. So, just stay aware. That's all. We just want to be stay aware. Yeah. She wants to see it. She wants to see it. Please. Here. You know, I was in this, this is a virtual island. <laughs> of the Mi'kmaq folk. The Mi'kmaq, the Mi'kmaq were here way before the French people came. Uh, there's a shell midden on the island which shows that the Mi'kmaq have been here for thousands of years. Uh, they came here in the summertime for their fishing. Uh, they would fish here in the summertime. There is a place on the island called Indian Point where uh, Edward Cornwallis kind of could find the native folks to come out here and, uh, 
and be and, and the, he kind of uh, tra transported them out here, uh, not not rightfully so. Anyway, on the panel, you'll see that the Mi'kmaq were the first people known to use this island. So I always try to pay acknowledgement to the Mi'kmaq culture that was here before the Europeans. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Like flying you that mirror. Flying you really. See me. Keep an eye on. We are going inside now. Let me move move you along, Shokoto. I'm going to go for a long one. What's going on? <laughs> I'll learn you. You want to learn your I want to learn your about. <laughs> I was saying that yeah, you do you think we wore long, long, long pants? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because of the insects. Is it this way? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Some <laughs> calories. Every time I come here, I'm just covered in sweat. <laughs> it gets so hot here. Yeah. And it's the humidity that I have a hard time with. Yeah. You know? Oh, they're so. up there. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see them. So used to it. Yes, baby. The bird. Yeah, yeah. it's a bird. Uh. <laughs> this is where they camp. The when there's camping allowed, oh, not okay. this year. You would camp oh, okay. here. Uh -huh. Okay. So nowhere has camping uh, allowed in Nova Scotia. Even the in the yeah, government. You can camp now. Just okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Just because of COVID, they don't have. They can't have as many um, attendants out here. Like That's possible. Oh, okay. So this is another toilet. There, Use that one. Fine, but, um, okay, this is another washroom. This is more like an outhouse than like a bathroom. Okay, let me get this way. Yes, we're going up this way. Okay, <laughs> it's a washroom. <laughs> you mean in, in Africa? Yes. Of course. I haven't ate. Nabla ate some raspberries. Okay. On the island. Cool. Raspberries on the island. Are we singing? Yeah, she was going to be doing that. And we have the Bluetooth. Ah, yeah. Uh, 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 ready? Are you ready? Go, judge. <laughs> lunch, yeah, okay. Yes. Do you guys want to take a break? A lunch is good. Lunch? Yeah. Uh, can I my book? Can my book? Give me So here we are, still at McNab Island. Having so much fun. We have the big side now. With a group, so during summer we try to do like group tours, individual tour, family tours. So this is our group tour this year, this summer, and it's so much fun. So John Ella is a is a group that offers STEM like science, technology, engineering, maths, you know, educational uh, related activities for kids, usually for African or African descent. So that's what this group does for African children. If you're African and your kids are between 8 and 16, I think, you are able to join the group. So, and they offer, you know, they do various activities, summer, and like all through the year, there are various activities they do. So this is one of the some activities they're doing. A bit of sandcastle. Oh, 
she wants her goggles. Go around the around the park on your own. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's thank a you. good option. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's like the McNab Islands. It's called the McNab and Lor Lor Islands. You can see here provincial park. So we came as a group, but you are able to come as an individual if you wanted to. So they are like boats where you can get from Halifax. Uh, that month of eastern passage that brings you down here it's about 20 or 30 dollars i hear so they bring you here i agree with them on the time they come to pick you up here you can tour on your own uh even without well, but we, we came here with, uh, with uh, like tour guides they are called the friends of mcnab island so it goes around the island we are the beach now um, some group went for hiking so they are back so that's pretty much what we do here have a very nice picnic with uh g1 li crew it was really really fun if you check out this place it's a beautiful place to bring your family to it's in nova scotia yep 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 so we came from halifax from the halifax uh got the bishop's landing we came from that here so here we are we'll soon be leaving everything for the boats to come pick it up so we are dancing now as you can see we're rocking some music they offer you like a map of the place where you can just uh see and see all the tourist uh, sites there and the history behind the park there's a lighthouse down there i don't know if you can see there are other things you can see let me just see and also you can go to their website if you're looking to have like a tour guide so it's mcnabisland.ca you're able to go there and see all the information that you need to come here so it says the beaches are not supervised oh yes baby I'm 
Sa Labanja. <laughs> this is downtown Halifax. People rent those things. Those what's it called now? Zip bicycle. Scooters. Oh, scooters. Okay. Scooters, and they just rent it and just drive around Halifax, downtown Halifax. The beautiful, beautiful downtown. It's a great, great weather, so most people are out today. Just got back home from the tour and so so tired we had a great great time it was nice to see everybody again thank you to g1 li thanks for organizing the tour we had a great time uh, thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you bye